एवरीवन वेलकम टू द अपडेट ऑफ सेवन जून वीक फाइनली एंडेड लोकसभा स्पेक्यूलेशन आल्सो सीम्स टू बी एंडिंग इट विल नॉट बी मोदी 3.0 पॉइंट जीरो इट विल बी एनडीए वन पॉइंट जीरो द स्वेरिंग इन इज एक्सपेक्टेड टू बी संडे इवनिंग एज ऑफ नाउ बिसाइड द प्राइम मिनिस्टर द अदर पोर्टफोलियोज हैव नॉट येट बीन अनाउंसड द की वंस टू वॉच आउट फॉर आर लोकसभा स्पीकर फाइनेंस मिनिस्ट्री डिफेंस मिनिस्ट्री होम मिनिस्ट्री एक्सटर्नल अफेयर्स एलाइज आर हार्ड बार्गेनिंग फॉर सम ऑफ दैम द कॉमिकल पार्ट इज एट द एंड ऑफ द एंटायर एपिसोड द पर्सन हु इज द सैडेस्ट इज द प्राइम मिनिस्टर हिमसेल्फ हु इज कमिंग बैक टू द पावर फॉर द थर्ड टाइम एवरी वन एल्स इज हैप्पी द एन डी ए पार्टनर द ऑपोजिशन एवरी वन हैज मेट देयर गोल्स इन सम वेज निफ्टी ऑल्सो एट द एंड ऑफ द इलेक्शन वीक इज फाइनली अ विनर टूडे इज क्लोजिंग इज वे बेटर देन वेयर निफ्टी क्लोज लास्ट वीक ऑन फ्राइडे एंड इफ यू हैव वॉच द न्यूज ओवर द लास्ट फ्यू डेज देन प्राइम मिनिस्टर मोदी इज अगेन अ विनर इन द कॉन्टेक्स ऑफ निफ्टी बिकॉज द ऑपोजिशन वॉज आफ्टर हिम फॉर कॉजिंग लॉसेज ऑन ट्यूजडे वर्थ थर्टी लैक करोड सो नो एट द एंड ऑफ द वीक इफ यू स्टेड पुट इफ यू डेंट सेल ऑन ट्यूजडे यू मेड मनी निफ्टी हैड अनदर फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री डे कंटिन्यूस अप फॉर द एंटायर डे लिटरली नो मेजर प्रॉफिट बुकिंग दो निफ्टी हैज बीन अप फॉर थ्री स्ट्रेट डेज ऑल मेजर स्टॉक्स बिग गेन्स रिलायंस टू पॉइंट सेवन परसेंट टी सी एस वन पॉइंट सेवन परसेंट एयरटेल फोर परसेंट इन्फोसिस लगाड फॉर लास्ट फ्यू वीक्स फोर पॉइंट टू परसेंट निफ्टी बैंक वेंट अप टिल अबाउट मिड डे देन इट कंसॉलिडेटेड बट मोस्ट ऑफ द फंड स्टाफ वॉज ऑलरेडी डन ऑल द बैंक हैड रन अपल दैट टाइम फॉर द डे निफ्टी अप टू परसेंट बैंक निफ्टी वन परसेंट निफ्टी आई टी थ्री पॉइंट फोर परसेंट निफ्टी एनर्जी अनदर टू पॉइंट फोर परसेंट एफ आई एंड डी आई डेटा हैज जस्ट बीन रिलीज टूडे एफ आई एज वर नेट बायर्स ऑफ फोर्टी फोर हंड्रेड करोड़ डी आई इज एक्चुअली नेट सोल्ड थर्टीन हंड्रेड करोड़ इट इज ट्रेंज दैट ऑन ऑल टाइम हाई डेज एफ आई नंबर आर पॉजिटिव डी आई नंबर आर स्लाइटली नेगेटिव रिलायंस हेड अ बुल रन टूडे टू पॉइंट फोर परसेंट अप कंटिन्यूसली अप होल्ड डे इनफैक्ट देर वॉज अूज स्पाइक अराउंड इलेवन थर्टी ट्वेल्व विक्स हैड अ स्ट्रेंज पैटर्न इट वेंट डाउन टिल रिलायंस हैड दिस रैली विच आई मैंशन आफ्टर दैट विक्स एक्चुअली वेंट अप एंड रिमेंड अप फॉर द होल डे यूजली यू वुड एक्सपेक्ट विक्स टू कूल डाउन सिग्निफिकेंटली ऑन बुल रन डेज लाइक टूडे ऑन बिग रैली डेज लाइक टूडे गोल्ड इज यूजली डाउन सिल्वर वॉज डाउन एज वेल टू पॉइंट टू परसेंट ब्रेंड इंक्रीज अ बिट बिटकॉइन सेम रेंज सेक्टर स्नैपशॉट वी आर हैविंग अ पैटर्न हेयर ऑल थर्टी सिक्स स्टॉक्स वर अप टूडे ऑल्सो येस्टरडे थर्टी टू स्टॉक्स वर अप वेडनेसडे थर्टी सिक्स स्टॉक्स वर अप ट्यूजडे वॉज अ कैटास्ट्रोफी डे मंडे ऑल थर्टी सिक्स सेक्टर्स वर अप सो इन दिस वीक माइनस द डे वेर द मार्केट फेल एट परसेंट ऑल अदर फोर डेज नियरली ऑल सेक्टर्स हैव बीन इन द ग्रीन सो अनलेस एवरी वन इज इन्वेस्टिंग फॉर द लॉन्ग रन फॉर द नेक्स्ट फ्यू इयर्स it is high time people booked some profits otherwise the fall will be really really severe today it pack went through the roof most contribution came from it followed by oil and gas and banking telecom was up significantly as well 8% contribution came from telecom aerospace and defense musgaon dock had a minor correction otherwise the entire sector was up automobiles mnm has been on steroids everything else was up as well banking today most gains came from bajaj finance the banks were also up but not that much coal was up irb infra up 10% mr modi is back construction materials the entire cement pack was rocking this is probably indicating that there is renewed interest and conviction that infrastructure spending will not go down the power pack was up significantly metals and mining hindustan zinc was up very little but the steel pack was up significantly oil and gas the gains do not look that high how this is really large cap companies especially reliance and ongc so even 2.7% 3.2% are big gains for the index pharma defensive but was up real estate nearly everything up software and it services large companies up 4 5% infosys wipro hcl tech mahindra lti mindri tcs was the only one which was less than 2% in the big boys but still 1.66% is a big gain for a 14 lakh crore company telecom vodafone was up 5.6% bharti big boy up 4% 8 lakh crore company nifty 50 biggest contribution back to reliance 14% contribution to the index today followed by bharti 9% infosys 7% tcs 6% fantastic volumes on everyone who contributed more than 100% in most cases only two companies were down in the red sbi life insurance tata consumer bajaj auto 
Bajaj Auto, Hindalco, Britannia, Indusind, all of them had minor gains. Next 50, 4 down, 46 up. BL was up 3.5%, followed by Bajaj Holdings, Madarsan Sumi, Tata Power, Dabur. We have 33 companies back in 80% or up zone suddenly. The volumes of Next 50 are usually shallow when Nifty is going through the roof. Today was no exception. Volumes were less than 100% for most stocks. What was down? Jindal Steel, PI Industries, Bosch, Adani Greens. IT Index was rocking today. Nifty Energy, great day. Reliance is back about 2900 now. 2940. Banking pack. I have hidden the stocks outside the top 10. The top table is Bank Nifty. The bottom one is PSU Banks. Only Indian Bank was down 1.45%. Everything else was up, but no very big gains today. Everything was up somewhere between half percent to two percent. Volumes are also okay. Nothing was more than hundred percent today. So while the index was up, while banks were up, no large gains. My trade for the day: mixed bag. I did profit booking in Adani Enterprises, Adani Green, PFC, SBI, Bob. All these stocks were up significantly. Decent profit on the table. I thought, let me take the profit out. How the day did not go well on the option side today. So this is where we started the day, slight fall, followed by a huge uptick. Then we kept going up and up and up. There was a bit of consolidation till about 130. Now I'll zoom into what happened after that. So at this candle, when I saw the downtrend a little, I thought that the Nifty has gone up significantly already for that day. And I usually expect something to change drastically at 130, which was about five minutes away. At that point, I had some options. The first option was to wait for some time, but then I thought that it is end of week and there are significant profits on the table. So traders will probably book profits and Nifty will fall. The second option I had was to do nothing, which means take new position on Monday only. But Monday gap up, gap down would have happened based upon the outcome of Sunday. I would not get the chance to enter fresh positions. Market will open with a gap up or gap down only. Third option was go with the flow and go up. I went with option one did not turn out that well. So markets went up after 130. Then they started cooling down again. That is where I averaged a bit on the losses. But then markets went up again. I booked some losses. Then they fell. I got fooled here and then I shorted again. After that, I didn't do much. I just thought I'll do the rescue act on Monday. Market went up, down, huge up just before 3 o'clock. After that, it was consolidation only, but with downward bias. In the bigger picture, this is not a big deal. However, when you are trading in the weekly series, this is a 175 point range. Huge spikes happen in your portfolio. Also, what happens is if you are an option buyer, there is huge decay. All right, so a loss of 1.5 lakh for the day, but that is primarily on account of decay. The gap is actually not very high, considering this is a position for 13 June expiry. The problem is the quantity. In fact, this quantity was 5,000 in terms of averaging down at some point of time. Then I just booked some losses. As a result, this gap increased. Had I had 5,000, this would have been something like 130 or 135 probably. No major worries as of now. The only thing is Monday market should not open with a gap up of 1 or 2%. If that happens, then the entire week is gone. As of now, this loss is roughly equal to the profit I booked in stocks. So for the day, it is okay. However, this needs to reverse on Monday. Let's see what rescue is needed on Monday. So this is what options are famous for. They give you money for fourth day. You get overconfident and they'll take everything with interest and penalty on the fifth day. What is likely on Monday? So most of the good news is now factored in. The PM swearing in will happen on Sunday. I don't think any key portfolios will be announced on Sunday. Maybe the speaker may get announced because Lok Sabha session has to be held by someone. The other four positions will be a question mark as of now. So market will not probably get a very big good or bad news on Monday. Note that from coalition stability perspective and market perspective, the key position should belong to BJP. However, the allies will not agree to that mostly. They will at least take two or three of these five positions. Now, markets are right now fairly or overvalued. All the short positions from Tuesday are covered. Most people are sitting on profit. If there is a small downtick or something bad, everyone will rush to sell because everyone is on profit. Typically on these days, FIIs sell. So markets may open up maybe half percent, one percent on Monday, especially if there is no bad news. 
but it will be followed by selling. If there is a slightest bit of bad news, some sort of infighting from the BJP camp, from the allies, someone is not happy, then markets will react badly adversely only. I don't expect more than a plus 1% or minus 2% kind of range. I know this is a very big range, but considering current times, 1%, 2% have become a norm for the Nifty. The hedge I have for my open positions, I have considerable open positions in stocks. So worst case, my losses will have to be offset by sacrificing the gains in the stocks. I will not earn much in the buying I did earlier this week. But finally, election week is over. That The trade quantity, the way I trade, like I mentioned yesterday also, that will change from next week. Hopefully, the profits and losses will be a lot more tighter in terms of range. Hope you had a good week. Your portfolio did well. Have good rest over the weekend. I'll see you on Monday.